Good day boys and girls, I'm Tom and today I'm going to do my third Q&A answer questions thing video. Let's get to it. First question, Carl Shaw. Where do I find the motor angle, micro steps, pitches and pulley tooth count of my hardware? And I've been getting similar questions like that uh, after last week's calibration basics, what you should and shouldn't do. And um, what I think I'll do is just branch that whole topic out into another video. Um, how to use the pusher calculator, how to figure out what your hardware is and which settings you should use. Um, Next question by Luis Navarro and he's asking about MakerGeek's mechanical end stops uh, connecting to the ramps. In that case it doesn't matter if it's ramps or any other RepRap control board. Um, the basic question is, hey I have this end stop with three wires. Uh, I know regular mechanical end stops only have two. How do I connect it? Now the um, thing is mechanical end stops they are, they are just a switch. They simply close a connection and there is a way to use those without any extra hardware directly on any RepRap control board. Um, the way Maker Geeks are selling them is they add a PCB, they add a couple of resistors, uh, LEDs, all kinds of stuff to it, so you don't really need any really special configuration to use those. The only setting that you should check is that you have your end stops inverted or not inverted properly. Uh, basically the way you can check for that is just connect your end stops, use your firmware as is just either with inverted end stops on or off and then check if uh, the M119 command matches up with what the end stops are actually doing at that moment. Then the next part of that question was uh, one more thing please, can I change the location of my y-axis end stop to the front of the printer? and which changes should I do in Marlin. And that is relatively simple actually. Uh, skip to 620 of my firmware basics video. The things that we will have to change is the home direction for the uh, Y axis. And you should also double check that the Y maximum position is set to the actual length of your Y travel of your printer. And then I have a random question right here and I love random questions. Uh, I kind of lost track of who asked this originally, but the question was how does one pronounce my last name? And the background for that, uh, even most Germans have problems pronouncing that name correctly or pronouncing it at all. Most of them take a couple of tries to get it right. And the way I pronounce it is Sammlager. I don't know if that is the absolute correct way to do it, but that's how I've said it my entire life. So there you have it, that's, that's how I pronounce my last name. Then Kim Hyang Dong asked, Hi Thomas, Rams 1.4, wondering how to do the wiring connections. Please explain with pictures. And for this one, I actually don't have much answering to do. Head over to the RepRap wiki to the Rams 1.4 page. There is all the information you could possibly need on there, including a big fat wiring diagram that tells you exactly where to plug everything in. And then I got a rather long question from Miklos. Uh, basically asking about help with calibrating and setting up a Delta printer. Um, and I'm sorry that I can't help you there, but the thing is I haven't really played with Delta printers yet. I haven't built one. I actually am in the middle of uh, designing and building one. That's the one over here, the Cerberus Reborn. Uh, that will get finished around Christmas, I guess. And um, I, I don't really want to give advice on topics that I'm not confident with. Yet, um, Deltas have their own kinetics, kinematics. I know how those work in theory, but I haven't really used them yet. So, sorry, I can't really help you with that yet. Next question is by Dark Master Gray, and I've actually answered that in the comment section already. Um, it is basically Hey Tom, does the heater cartridge and the thermistor in a hot end? He was asking about the printer bots specifically. Does the heater cartridge and the thermistor have? a polarity and the answer is no neither the heater nor the thermistor have a polarity you can plug in the wires either way doesn't matter which one goes to which terminal unless your printer has a thermocouple uh, but 99.9% .9 of all printers don't so yeah for basically any hot end out there the thermistor and the heater element the heater cartridge can be plugged in either way then Lavidos74 asks what about 3D printed PLA linear bearings? This is a comment on the 
ball bearings video. Uh, what about 3D printed PLA linear bearings? I am working on the raw stock printer and want to use hollow aluminum tube with PLA linear bearings. Um, my thoughts on PLA linear bushings, um, I don't want to use them, I wouldn't use them because PLA isn't really a bearing bushing material that is made for that purpose. Um, real linear bearings like the LM8U or even polymer bushings like the Eagles RJMP series which are directly compatible to the LM8U series um, are pretty cheap these days. Um, so I use those wherever possible instead of some shoddy solution like PLA bushings. Uh, the other thing is he wants to use hollow aluminum tube and I, I advise it against that as well because you see the delta, let, let, me, let me pick this delta up here, um, delta carriage arms somewhere around here. Um, the forces on this carriage is, is along the arms so your tube will bend if it's just a, a thin hollow aluminum tube. Uh, if you use a proper linear rod, a, a chrome steel rod or something like that or uh, are riding on open builds profiles or any other aluminum profile those will have a much higher resistance to bending so you know if, if you're just using aluminum tube that might end up wobbling around quite a bit. Next question by Confession of a Quadcopter Addict. Basically asking for a recommendation for a printer under 1000 US dollars, which should be compact and also use filaments that don't smell since he has a wife. Um, and he's asking if the printer bot simple metal is a good choice there and I'd say yes absolutely it is. It maybe isn't the absolute best printer you can buy but for how much it costs and what kind of support and community you get with that printer it's you know it's it's a no-brainer I think. With a stock printer bot simple metal you can print of course PLA doesn't smell bad I think it does smell but it's not obnoxious or anything. Uh, you can print nylon to a certain extent that also smells a tiny bit but isn't really as smelly as ABS and you can print PET which is said to not smell at all so you even have a couple choices there all of those don't really need a heated bed. And the last question for today by Adib. Hi, I saw your video on auto bed leveling with an inductive proximity sensor. I was wondering if I could use a 7805 voltage regulator instead of the resistors. Thanks. And the thing is the 7805 is made for regulating a supply rail and not for voltage shifting a signal line. So I'd say because that 7805 needs and has capacitors on the input and output, that those will already slow down your signal to an extent where it becomes unusable for your control board. So no, probably not a good idea. And that's it for today. As always, thanks for watching. See you Sunday.